Hey, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISE 2023, day one. It's right around lunchtime, a little bit past lunchtime. I just finished my live TV show and ran over here to the Barco booth with Inga Govarts. Inga, how are you doing? Doing fine, Gary. Yourself? I'm doing very well. This is the most packed I've seen a Barco booth in probably five or six years. Yep. So you must be very happy. But it's also going to make this tour. We're going to do a, a show floor tour. We're going to actually do a tour of the Barco booth. Going to make it a little tougher. Yeah, it's true. We are crowded. We're very happy to welcome everybody. So one thing that people are used to seeing in Barco booths is big images. Behind us, you might notice that that image is curved. That is using a new product called Rigiflex, Correct. which is a, a curved screen, or a screen that can be curved at whatever angle you want, developed by Barco, not by a screen company. Nope. So Correct. tell us about it. Okay, so imagine that you have a big building where you need to have a big screen. This screen comes onto a roll. So you bring it in and you really make it as big and as tall as you want. And then you have, for example, retro projection with UDXs, but you can really, it's being used, for example, at the Museum of the Future, yeah. where it's 21 meters long, and it comes in a curve like you want. And the roll, I want you to walk and see that uh, picture in that room over there while we're talking. The wall, um, or the, 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 the surface itself, do you cut it on site to be as big as you want? You don't have to order it a certain size. You can cut it once you get there, and what's the height? What's the maximum height you can do? Uh, the sky is the limit, by okay. means of okay. speaking. So you can go- As long as you can ship it in a truck, you can As long it. as you can ship it in a whatever ship or in a, a, a plane or whatever, yeah. it, it fits in. But the thing is, we can really custom made it, and that's very, very important. Uh, then you put projectors behind it, and that's how you get this very, very nice image. Yeah, you can see there's three UDX projectors back there, which have dominated the, uh, the live events market for a long time. Uh, since y'all launched them, probably about 10 years ago now, it seems like, uh, that you launched those. Where are we going to head now? We're going to do a booth tour. Um, we're going we're gonna to end in the immersive uh, um, uh, exhibit that you have there that's really cool. Um, by the way, as we pass by, notice the picture of the uh, Barco headquarters on the screen back there. That's critical because this is actually a curved LED, which is quite unusual. This is a curved LED right here called the NT, our NT series, 1.2 millimeter. So this has been launched this morning, and in fact, this is the NT series. Next to the Trupix that we launched last year, this is really to uh, complete our portfolio. This is a 1.2 inch, but we have the 0 0.9 inch as well in the Trupix. This is really to have a complete LED portfolio, and the very nice thing is this is curved. So uh, in all honesty, I think this is really a great image, and this is, of course, control room, could be command and control, workplace, broadcast. Social media uh, management center. Um, but the fact that it's curved is quite, uni quite unique uh, in LED. Um, so 1.2 millimeter, and of course we have the 0.9 yes. TruePix uh, product as well. Um, the TruePix is sort of like UNIC for LED. Correct, so this is with the special mechanics. And again, this year it has been used. We have the UNIC. The, the TruePix mechanics also, it, so it works really very easy and the user friendliness is really key to it. Right. You can't mess it up nope. because uh, you, you develop the mounting system integrated with the display, uh, which gives you the ability uh, to actually make sure that you can't install it incorrectly because it's all uh, predetermined. It, you have less and, damage as well. Right, and it allows you to correct for you know, millimeter the, work. Yeah, because yeah. wall, no walls are perfectly no, straight. Correct. Unfortunately, so this this is really very helpful for engineers setting it up. So um, again, very happy. We of course use it ourselves during during build up. Uh, yeah, a lot of lot of people who are very enthusiastic about this. All right. So one of my favorite products is WeConnect. Yes. As WeConnect you know, you got a whole WeConnect demo over here, yes, and and I noticed it seems to me that Barco in the last year has accelerated its. Uh, passion behind WeConnect. I felt like, I always kind of felt like it was one of the best kept secrets at Barco. I think a lot of people didn't realize you even had that product. No, uh, it's, it's true. So uh, WeConnect is here fully fledged. We are demoing, demoing all day. This is an, uh, an overview KVD wall powered by WeConnect. So really to showcase that uh, this is, how, especially with COVID, this really ramped up that a lot of uh, uh, companies really want to do uh, hybrids and, and, and uh, uh, training via this uh, WeConnect uh, platform. And if this is 
this is like Zoom and Teams on steroids because it's really designed for for training and education applications. So I'm glad to see y'all really uh, pumping that heavier now. And of course, one of Bar Barco's flagship products is ClickShare. And just a couple of weeks ago, you launched the ClickShare, the new version, version two of the CX50 yes, product. True. And the main difference, the main difference, other than software upgrades and firmware upgrades, is that it has two HDMI outputs. Correct. So this is the next gen CX50. Uh, very happy we launched it on the 19th of January. Everybody is hugely uh, uh, impressed and also very excited to work with it. You also see several de uh, uh, setups uh, with a dual head, yeah, dual displays, yes, or a 21 by 9 yeah, LED. You have a touch screen, so you have all kinds of setups. We are really agnostic to whatever meeting the room wishes that you have. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the ClickShare product line. It's really transformed our industry quite a bit. What else do we want to show us? So I think we can end with uh, the immersive room. Yeah, let's go. So one of the things that uh, we've all loved in the last uh, four or five years, uh, or I should say six or seven years, is um, immersive exhibits like the Van Gogh exhibit as yes. an example of that. Um, and you're showing it in a really unique way. I, I, I hope this comes through on video because what, what they're showing is, you'll notice you won't see the projectors. You're gonna see a, a fully immersed ceiling, floor, and walls room, but you won't see the projectors. So watch this. This is really kind of cool. So yes. come on in, Emily, and get an idea. So this is where you step in. This is where you step inside, and as you can see, this is a fully immersive 360 degree room, so you have the floor, you have the walls, and in fact, have a look at the ceiling. There's F80 projectors in there, and the only thing that you see are the lenses, yeah? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six lenses, which is making up for the complete image. And this is really what we're all about, immersive setup, and in fact, some of the salespeople already told me, how can we sell it like this? Because this yeah, is really- as a kit. As a kit, Yeah, yes. as a kit. I wanna show this again, because I don't know if this is coming across on the on the camera. We'll see if I can make it work. There. You can see the yeah, there you go. You can see the lenses just popping out of the ceiling. And for the floor, you're actually using yes. uh, one over there. Ceiling mounted projector. Correct. Yeah. Those are all ceiling mounted. We have a dark ceiling covering it, and that's it. So all the the only thing is we can't show which projectors we're we're showing, but yeah. that's okay yeah. because you know technology is is not it's what this is all about. Lost, right? It's we should be visible. So it's the experience, and that's what matters in here. All right, it's a good place to end the tour. Of course, you can always see all this stuff at barco.com. We got a lot more to cover. We're actually going to go around and shoot individual videos all over the Barco booth. So you just type in Barco in the video search window. Inga, thank you very much for this tour. Thank you, Gary, as always. Right, thank you.